What kind of trash is it out there that's floating around? Uh, six years ago, there's yeah. no trash in space, but uh, uh, we, we had a greater access to the space. So all the satellites are still flying around, and the rocket upper stages, like uh, in the first stage, go down to the ocean, but the second stage, third stage, you know, stay in the ah, orbit. Okay. And uh, thirdly, the fragments caused by uh, collisions or explosions are still flying. So these are the debris remaining there. All right. How do you get rid of it? How, how do you want? How do you get rid of it? Uh, so uh, we are developing the capture satellite to go up and identify the large object, which is uh, environment, environmental critical, and uh, approach, capture, and bring them down to the ocean, uh, the, to the atmosphere, and burn. So we are developing those approaches. Okay. Let's talk about just the amount of debris that's increased in space right now, because right. it used to be that it was just the government projects that would right. really push forward on these space missions. Now we've got companies like a SpaceX, uh, you know, those like Jeff Bezos also pushing forward. How has the, have those private missions increased the amount of debris in space? So over the last five to seven years, we saw new 2,000 space startup, uh, space ventures in the world. So they are, they, their plan is so um, uh, aggressive. So they're going to launch uh, 10,000 uh, or 20,000 satellites over the next five to 10 years, mm -hmm. although we only have 1,400 satellites right now. Mm -hmm. So we see the, you know, the kind of exponential growth of the object in space. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.